Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Amen. As he, so are we in this world. What a powerful statement. Amen. Someone may say, no way, it's not possible. It is possible. Remember, with God, all things are possible. Amen. You're going to doubt the word of God. Remember, this is the word of God. It's, it's, the, it's the word of God saying to us, I is, so are we in this world. We have to believe, we have to embrace the truth. Amen? Because that's the truth. Don't doubt the word of God. Amen? Let's go to 1 John chapter 4, verse 17. Amen? Hallelujah. 1 John chapter 4, verse 17. Let's read together the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, are you seeing him? Are you reading him? Are you hearing him? Amen. Because as he is, so are we in this world. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You see it. Amen. Hallelujah. We are sons. We are here to represent our Father as obedient children. We are born of God. That's what he's saying. I is, so are we in this world because we are born of God. We are born of your Spirit. Amen. We are born from Him. We have his nature. Amen. That's what he, he said. As he is, so are we in this world. Amen. Embrace that truth. Hear what God's saying to you. Don't let your emotion rule your life. Walk by the truth of the word of God. You're a new creature. You are born from above. You are born from God. From the spirit of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You see, the scripture support all this that God says about you. The scripture support this statement. Amen. Hallelujah. As he so are we in this world. Let's go to Romans chapter 8, verse 29. Let's go together. And read Romans 8, Romans 8, verse 29. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So let's go to Romans 8. Are you there? Let me find them myself. Thank you, Lord. Romans 8, verse 29. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed, you listening, to be conformed to the image of his son, right there, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Hallelujah. You know, God knew us before we were formed in the, our mother belly, and before we were formed. And our mother will he knows and he, for, he, and he predestined us to be conformed to the image of his son to the image of Jesus right there you see it as he is so are we in this world our father is the will our father to we to be to we be like his son here in this earth amen hallelujah thank you Lord Jesus for new and predestinate the believers to be like Christ. God did it. To be like Him. To be like Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. God did it. It's the will of God. Amen. And we have to go in that progression to be. Yes, we are new creatures. We are born from God. But we have to learn how to be that new creature. Here in this earth, that's new man and woman. 
Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. I just give you the evidence. Amen. Like a good lawyer that bring all the evidence. And the evidence, and the evidence is in the word of God. Second Corinthians 3.18. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But we all, we unveiled faith, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Beholding. Amen. Looking unto him. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of faith. I will behold Jesus. We've been transformed from glory to glory. You see? It's a progression. But you have to continue beholding him. I will behold Jesus to his word. That's what he said, the meditate in the word of God day and night. So you be count or you beholding. You beholding Jesus. You become like Jesus. You already have his spirit. But now people need to see the manifestation in your life, in my life. That we really are beholding Jesus. We are beholding. What we are beholding? We beholding Jesus, we look like Jesus. That progression. It's a progression. Amen? We have to continue, it's a continual, on a continual basis, looking unto Jesus. Amen? Hmm. See, looking into, I will behold the glory of the Lord. We are continually transformed into the same image by the Spirit of the Lord. Hmm. The, we then, with every increasing glory, reflect what we behold. You see, we reflect Jesus. When people see us, they see Jesus. When the disciples ask Jesus, show us the Father. And Jesus said, you have been with me so long. When you see me, you see the Father. You see. That's the will of the Father. When people say, where is Jesus? That we be able to say, hey, you see him here. Because we are reflecting him. We are beholding him. We are not Jesus, but we reflect Jesus. Amen. Because we behold in Him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. You see, when the disciples of Jesus was walking here in this earth, the people knew that, that they were being with Jesus. Why they knew? There was something in them. They made the people believe those guys, they are being with Jesus. The people can see us in the streets if they've been with Jesus or they represent Jesus. Remember, it's the will of the Father that we represent Him. That's what we hear in this earth. That's what we have to behold Him, behold Jesus. Our own attention are to be Jesus and Jesus. Our eyes are to be in Him, our heart. Our desire has to be for Jesus and His word and His will. This is not religious stuff. This is our life. The religious people go to church and Sunday and they forgot the rest of the way who they are. That's not the will of the Father for us. Don't be like the person that go and look in the mirror and then when they leave, they forget who they are. 
That's the religious people. They go to church, they sing a song, they jump, they cry, and then when they get out of the service, they forget who they are. That's not the will of the Father for us. The will of the Father is as it is, so we so are we in this world. That's the will of the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we know how this came about. Beholding Jesus many things in this world, day and night, <laughs> applying, obeying, and allow the Holy Spirit to guide us because we're not alone. The Holy Spirit was sent from the Father to help us and to guide us. Amen? So we're not alone. The most important thing, we have the Spirit of the living God in us. We have been transformed and we continue being transformed by the Spirit of the Lord. We go from glory to glory. He will continue beholding him. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 12. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Looking unto Jesus. Looking unto who? Jesus. Who are you looking? Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Amen? The author and finisher of our faith. Mm. Thank you, Lord who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the chain, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So as we see here, Jesus, our example, he endured everything for obedience to the Father. He denied himself. We have to deny ourselves. Looking unto Jesus, he is our example. He is our prototype. We have to look unto Him. He endured everything for obedience to the Father. We have to endure everything, even deny ourselves for obedience to our Father. Amen? We are here to represent heaven, to represent the kingdom of God, to represent Jesus, to represent our Father. And because that, we have to deny ourselves. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Don't look to others. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Don't look to others. Jesus is your sample. No one else. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter 4. Remember this, all these creatures is assuring to us that just we can be as Jesus here in this earth. Obedience to the Father. Committed to the work of the kingdom. Galatians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. And because you are sons, God has sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your hearts. See, the Holy Spirit is in us. Hallelujah. And because that 
just we can be as Jesus here. And because you are sons of God, has sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. Therefore, you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. Amen. As heir of God, we're supposed to conduct God's business here in this earth. <laughs> Amen. Jesus did it. And you know, the wonderful thing is, he had to give us his spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He has given us his spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. They don't say, oh, it's impossible. It's not impossible. We got all things are possible because he lived in us. Amen. Hallelujah. It's him doing it through us if we allow him if we allow him the only thing we need to do is yield to his spirit believe him embrace him hallelujah thank you jesus the spirit of christ is in us the spirit of the father is in us the holy spirit living in us dwelling in us to guide us, to teach us, to take the thing of Jesus and reveal it to us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 2. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 10. For it was fitting for him, for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, and bringing many sons to glory, to make the captain of the salvation perfect through sufferings. Amen. Hallelujah. Says, listen to this. Let's read again the beginning of verse 10. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 10. For it was fitting for him, because as his will, the will of God, there was the will of God, amen, that Jesus suffered for us to bring many sons to glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's you, that's me. And those that were going to reach through the gospel. Amen. Those that are going to believe in God for the, for the gospel, that we preach the gospel, the truth of the word of God. I mean, it's the will of God. That's what God wants us to be represent here in this earth, to bring more sons and daughters to glory. And He had given us His Spirit. Amen. Okay. Through the suffering of Jesus, we became sons and daughters. You see, we're not going, we're not going. To the cross for no one Jesus did it but we have to go and do the will of God amen to bring more sons to glory more sons and daughters to glory through the preaching of the gospel that's our job now as a sons and daughters that's our will that's what we hear in this earth as he is so are we in this world just here to do the will of our Father. If we need to suffer for it, so be it. To do the will of the Father. No one wants suffering. But that's what it takes. So be it. Hallelujah. Start saying that you can do to obey God. Start saying that you can now obey God. 
Jésus calme. John 14. Hallelujah. John 14, verse 12. Thank you, Jesus. Most actually I say to you, he will believe in me. The works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than this he will do because I go to my Father. Amen. You know why we, why we can do this work? Because we are like him in this world. In, in this statement, when Jesus declared, it's true. You see, Jesus is going to say something that we cannot do it. He said it because it's true. We have to believe. You know why we're not doing it? Because we don't believe what Jesus said. Remember, I, as he is, so are we in this world. And if Jesus said that he will believe in me, the word that I do, he will do also. And greatest word than this he will do because I go to my father. It's true. But you, who, who will do this word? The one who believes in Jesus. And believe. According to the statement of Jesus, and not only I believe in Jesus, I'm saying I'm going to have it. believe continually. It's obeying his saying. Obeying his word. It's not just I'm saying, I believe in Jesus, I'm saying, and do your own will. Live your own life. It's not that way. You have to believe continually in him, following him. Obeying his saints. You are like him in this world. You have to believe it. I have to believe it. And we do, we do these words. May our Father might be glorified. Let your light so shine before men that they might see your good work and glorify your Father that is in heaven. And Jesus speaking here again. You believe me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than this, he will do because I go to my Father. We know Jesus sit down right now at the right hand of the Father. Even he's in our heart, but he sit down at the right hand of the Father. So it's, it's time for us to do the work. Because we are the one here in this earth. We are his body. We are his representative. We are his disciple. We are the sons and daughters of God. And the Holy Spirit dwelling in us. His Spirit is in us. It's time for do the works. We're not talking about church problems. We're talking about the work of the kingdom. When Jesus said the works, he's not talking about church problems. The work of the Father. What is the will of the Father? And this time for you. And for his kingdom in general. What is his work? Heal the sick. Raise the dead. Cleanse the leper. Bring people to salvation. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's continue here in John chapter 14, verse 19 and 20. Amen. Hallelujah. A little while longer in the world will see me no more. 
but you but you will see me because I live. You will live also. You see why we live? Because Jesus lives in us. <laughs> Amen. Verse 20. Of that day you will know that I am in my Father. And you in me. And I am in you. See. Jesus and the Father were. And now we became one with Jesus and the Father. One. He lives in us. This, the will of Jesus, the will of the Father to live his life through us. That's why we're still here in this earth. The Jesus he manifests in our life and do the work of the Father through us here in this earth. As he is, so are we in this world. That's why he came to live in us because we alone cannot do those works. We cannot alone in our own power live this kind of life that Jesus wants us to live. Only with Him and through Him. You see? That's where it says we are the body of Christ. We are the body of Christ, you know, corporate and individual. It's individual as the body of Christ. He wants to live his life through us and do the work of the Father through us. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, the word is belief. Belief. There's all this more evidence. So look at what Jesus declared. I am in you. Hmm. Hallelujah. I am in you. You want more evidence that you and me can be as he is, so are we in this world. There's more evidence. Because he said, I am, I am you. I am you. <laughs> Let this sink in your heart and be established in your heart. I am you. Jesus declared that I am in you, and because that you can be as me here in this earth, as he is so are we in this world, because that, because Jesus is in us. Hallelujah. I am in you. See? I am in you, because that we can be as a him in this world. Because that, I am in you. I am in you. Jesus and you, Jesus and me. Hallelujah. John 17. Verse 18 and 19. As you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. The Father sent Jesus, and Jesus now sent us. And for their sake I sanctify myself, that they also may be sanctified by the truth. Okay, Jesus was sent by the Father, and he sanctified himself. He separated himself from this world to do the will of the Father. And he's saying us, we have to separate ourselves. We have to sanctify ourselves. He said the truth will sanctify us. You see, when we receive the truth of the word of God and we apply it to our life, we'll be sanctified. Okay? Because we separate ourselves from this world and walk and live and walk and live by the truth of the word of God. Not by the system of this world. That's ruled by the devil. And his light. Hallelujah. Walking by the truth, living through and walk by the truth, and speak the truth. That's made you sanctify and walk in sanctification. You see, it's important. We have to walk in sanctification. 
God already separated us. God already sanctified us to Jesus Christ. But we have to walk in sanctification. How we walk in sanctification? In truth. In obedience to the Father. Set apart from this world. We here in this world, but we not belong to here. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are a stranger. So journeys in this earth. We here because our Father left us here for an assignment. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's what we hear. And that's what he said. As he is to our will this world, remember that. Have this mindset. Have the Father sent me, I send you. Have the same mindset. You are here for the will of the Father to do his will. I sanctify myself. You will sanctify yourself to the truth. Amen. He wants us to have that mindset. I'm here for the will of the Father. How to sanctify myself. How to separate from this from the world system. I'm here, but I cannot be contaminated by this world system. Because I'm here for a purpose. God commissioned me to do His will. Are you ready to sanctify yourself? Set apart from this world for the will of the Father to live a pure and holy life. That's all to you. That's all to you. We know what the will of the Father is. We know what the will of Jesus is. Remember, you represent the Father, you represent Jesus, you represent the Kingdom. Remember that. God not allow the things of this world make you to forget what you hear. The deceitfulness of riches and the loves of all the things May you to forget the purpose why you are still here in this earth. First John chapter four. First John chapter four. Hallelujah. Verse four. You are of God. You are of God. You are of God. You are of God, little children. And how will come them? Because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. The one that is in you is greater than this world. God is greater of this world. You don't need to be afraid. You will overcome anything if you trust in God. You see, you will calm the system for this world. Because greatest as he is in you, greatest the Father in you, greatest is Jesus in you, greatest the Holy Spirit in you. Fulfill the purpose of God in this earth. Walk as he, walk as Jesus here in this earth, with the mindset, I'm here for the will of my Father. And I'm not alone. He had gave me his spirit. I'm a new creature. I'm born from above. You see? Great is the in you. Believe it. Embrace it. And do the will of the Father. Amen.